What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and we are checking out David Bowie again. David Bowie, being the legend himself, never really bothered checking him out when I was younger. But now that I'm a little older, we'll probably be able to appreciate that much more. Space Oddity. I mentioned something in the last song we checked out, Heroes. Um, I might have brought up how unorthodox he is, and a lot of you guys actually commented on that. That's what made David Bowie David Bowie. He didn't uh, change his British accent. A lot of things that just made him a very unique performer. So I'm excited to check this out, an official video. This is from 1972. So like, I do not, I do not know what to expect from a music video from the 70s. I'm actually not familiar with, not familiar with any music video from the 70s. Maybe I, maybe I am, but uh, let's check it out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Check out the description down below to find ways of supporting, of helping out. Ways to also send your suggestions that we can prioritize on the channel. Thank y'all for being here. Let's do this. Okay. Wow, he was funky looking, dude. Ground control to Major Tom. I've heard this song before. I th Ground control to Major Tom. What, well, Mr. Deeds? And the Martian. Protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. This is ground control to Major Tom. Yeah. We're cutting off the legend. This song is featured in a lot of stuff, so I have definitely heard this song before. It makes sense why it was on The Martian. Space Oddity. I didn't know that's what the name of the song was. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and you put your helmet on. I don't know if this rocket ship that uh, Major Tom is uh, blasting off from, if, it, uh, if it's uh, symbolic, if it's metaphorical, or, or, or if he's just talking about... I mean, this was pretty fresh after the, the moon landing and whatnot. Or did the moon landing really happen? No, I'm just kidding. I had no idea this was David Bowie. And I've never paid attention to the song that much. The layers in it are fantastic. Is it just him harmonizing? Apparently the song was also like a put out during a time. Like he was struggling. He was grinding, dude. Fired by Space Odyssey. I haven't read that. I probably should check that out. I mean, I mean, watched. I was looking up if it was him harmonizing the the, the voices too, but I, I love the layers, dude. I don't know if it's my sound system or what, but I'm hearing all the layers in a way that this is freaking awesome. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. Oh. Dude, that transition is so good. Okay, that was interesting. I was uh, watching Rick Beato's uh, channel, and he talked. To, he's talking about why like modern music, modern music kind of sucks, and a big reason is because things like the key change and things that made a song move 
have kind of stopped. And that's why he doesn't like a lot of modern music. Okay. Not only do we got key changes, but what the, f- like, full blown tempo change. It feels like an interruption and I'm sure it is purposeful. And it's like a optimistic, like a positive interruption. Again, I'm, I can't, I can't help but think about this scene in Mr. Deeds when they're singing this song on the, on the helicopter. That was beautiful, dude. It's like kind of sad. Like the sadness you would feel if you were to embark on something like this on your own. Like, that's so interesting. Okay. Bro, this song is genius. Dude, it's like, it, 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 the song made me sad, the, the repetition of Can You Hear Me, Major Tom, because they're, like, Major Tom is gone. Like, he's just lost in space. The sadness there of, here am I floating around my tin can, far above the moon, planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. That's how you make, <laughs> that's cool. Dude. Great solo. Great little addition. What the? It's just drifting away. That's what I'm getting. He's just... Very, 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 very cool, dude. Oh, bro, I'm not going to lie, dude. It feels so cool to know of something. And for some reason in your life, you don't experience it until you do. Wow, bro. Like the journey. It felt that's what it felt like, right? It was a story, a tragic story with the music fitting beautifully and perfectly. And un- these unexpected transitions is metaphorically like describing the, the song. That's cool, bro. That's a very, very cool, beautiful song. So tragic. It's they're telling him that something's wrong with his spaceship. Got to get out of there. But he's already lost connection. He's just going off to space. I can't help but think about this being from, you know, technically the 60s, the 60s being very psychedelic and whatnot. And uh, even though it, it can be a very like a story being told in a song, I I think that it's more of a he wanted this story to represent what he was going through. And Space Oddity has been characterized as a psychedelic folk ballad. Yeah, see, yeah. He described it as being a Bee Gees-like song. He storyboarded each section. Bowie's biographers have provided different interpretations of the lyrics. According to Doggett, the lyrics authentically reflect Bowie's minds and thought, mind and thoughts at the time. He writes that Bowie shone a light on the way advertisers and the media seek to own a stake in a lonely man in space while he himself is exiled. And he was like facing, and if he was facing some of this failure and whatnot, that, that exile, that's interesting. It feels like you're stuck, right? And that's what I get when he says, when he's 
pointing out planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. I'm excited to hear what the song speaks to you guys, but frick, man, that was awesome. That was a cool experience. I'm so glad I did that. Honestly, thank you, uh, Chris O'Neill, big, fr uh, big friend of my family, who uh, saw the last Bowie uh, video and was like, dude, you got to... He told me about him growing up with his dad, listening to David Bowie, and, and suggested we check out this song. And, well, I'm glad I did. This is a very cool way to start my day. Well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Can't wait to see you all again soon. Bye, guys.